Now, the most common problem with rhododendrons is the pH is too high. And the telltale sign of this is iron deficiency. How do we know we have an iron deficiency? Well, the plants are going to have a yellow color between the veins on the leaf, okay? Now, why does this yellow color happen? Well, iron is a necessary component for the production of chlorophyll, okay? It's a necessary component for cellular respiration and metabolism, and chlorophyll, as you remember, is what gives the plants this nice green color. Without iron, you can't have this nice green color. You're gonna have stunted growth, you're gonna have stunted flowers, okay? So, to immediately fix this iron problem, you can use foliar applications of iron, okay? And that's going to supply iron immediately to the vegetative matter which is already on this plant. However, you're not going to be fixing the problem which is at the soil, okay? So the new growth is not going to have iron available to it. So in order to fix the soil, as I said, in addition to naturally occurring acidic materials like pine needles, you can use synthetic fertilizers such as ammonium sulfate. Now why is this going to acidify the soil? Well, it's similar. It, what happens is the microorganisms take the ammonium, right? For every unit of ammonium that they break down, two units of hydrogen are going to be released. And this is going to acidify the soil. So when it goes from ammonium to nitrate, via the process of oxidation from the microorganisms, you're going to have hydrogen release, okay? You can also use sulfur, elemental sulfur, and this is going to have a similar effect. When the microorganisms take this sulfur and when they break it down, for every unit of sulfur broken down, two units of sulfuric acid are going to be released. And a third chemical amendment you can add is called ferrous sulfate, okay? And this is going to immediately supply iron to the plant. However, it's more expensive and furthermore, it takes longer for the sulfur to break down to acidify the soil. So my advice is for you, remember, plant your rhododendrons in a naturally occurring environment next to pine trees in your yard. And if you don't have pine trees, go out into the forest and rake up pine needles. Make sure to leave enough organic matter on top of the forest floor though so you don't cause erosion, okay? And a year or two before you plant your rhododendrons, add these pine needles and this acidic organic matter to the soil and then come and plant. And like I said, you can use synthetic fertilizers. Now synthetic fertilizers are going to have a rapid response to acidifying the soil, okay? So once you get your soil to acidic conditions, 4.5 to 5.5, you're not going to need to come back every year and use these synthetic fertilizers. The regular application of organic matter every year such as pine needles under your landscaping mulch, this is going to create a naturally recycling sustainable environment, okay? As these flowers drop and as these leaves drop, right, the nutrients are going to go back down into the soil. They're going to go from the organic form wrapped up in this flower back to the inorganic form and this is going to acidify the soil and then the plant is going to have these nutrients to take back up again. So. It's very silly how people go and rake all the organic matter under their plants and how they rake up all the leaves from their yard because nature naturally takes care of the nutrients and of the soil conditions we need for our plants to grow. My friends, thank you for watching PharmaPath's YouTube channel where I teach people about getting back to the basics to satisfy the stomach and the spirit as well. Please subscribe and share my channel and my videos with other people. Thanks for tuning in.